Hey there everybody, Red X Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. In the last episode, we went around and collected things. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. We did make uh, a startlingly, you know, imp impressive amount of progress on some of the dealings though. Let, let, let me go ahead and show that off. Let's see. Got Peter Pan. Should, should I turn that off? Uh, I will admit, I don't generally use D-Links as much as I probably could, just because, I mean, if you have a good setup on your own deck, then you probably want to use it, is, is the thing. But yeah, we've got we've got two left still, but we maxed out uh, Goofy and Peter Pan last time, so we're, we're doing pretty good on that front now. We're, we're definitely behind. We've caught up a bit. Now, uh, we're finally going to see uh, what's up with Mickey, because he, he seems like he's in trouble right now. Mickey! We meet again, boy. starting to realize what you lost. Oh, but not for good. You had to lose in order to find. Now it can all be yours again if you only reach out and take it. Reclaim the part that left you. Clash with him. Pure light against pure darkness to forge the ultimate key. The all-powerful Key Blade! <laughs> Blades you and I carry. Key, the most ancient. Some say Kai, but the meaning is the same. Death, a letter that spells endings. And I have the power to make it. Correct. Ericus knows it too. He knows exactly what you are. The Master? Haven't you ever wondered why he never granted you permission to leave his side, to grow stronger? Ericus was frightened of you. If you were to learn the truth, realize what you are, he never trusted you. Why else would he keep you within his sight at all times? let me see other worlds, no matter how much I asked. Go! You ask the man yourself. Learn the truth, and remember you have a greater purpose! So what I find uh, really impressive about, you know, Xehanort's whole plan here is that he doesn't even have to lie in order to manipulate people into doing what he wants. 
Because he's not wrong about Ericus and, and how Ericus has treated Ventus. So, you know, I just, I, I just find that, that aspect of this game, you know, really intriguing. Oh, hey, we can finally go back to the land of departure. I think we're going to get thrown into a, a, a plot cutscene, but hopefully we can get the treasures after that. <laughs> Ventus, you're alone? I thought Akko would... <sighs> well, what matters is that you're home. You don't belong outside this world yet. You need to stay here, where you can learn... In your prison? What? That's your excuse. For keeping me imprisoned here, isn't it? What did you hear? That I'm supposed to be some weapon. Some kind of keyblade. I knew it. Xehanort. He could never let it go. Wait, Xehanort. There is a reason the precepts bar us from such knowledge. Why do you seek the keyblade? Would you blanket all the worlds in darkness? Reduce them to nothing? But darkness did cover the world once, in legend. We know so little about the Keyblade War. Only that it was just the beginning. Amidst that crisis, a precious light was found. It is a curious tale, and one worth exploring. They say ruin brings about creation. So what then would another Keyblade War bring? When the darkness falls, will we be found worthy of the precious light the legend speaks of? I must have these answers. The Keyblade needs to be forged, and with it, the door to the Keyblade War unlocked. Fool, you would risk an apocalypse out of sheer curiosity? I will never allow it, Zayn. Not while I live! But once again, you have it all wrong, Heracles. Darkness is a beginning, you see, not an end. At birth, every one of us emerges from darkness into a world of light, do we not? Poetic excuses! If words won't dissuade you, only one thing will! Darkness taken you, Xehanort! Not your concern. I failed. I had the chance to stop him and couldn't do it. But I will not fail again! Master, what do you... The Keyblade has no place in this or any world. Xehanort has made his purpose clear, and I am left with no choice. Forgive me, but you must exist no more! Ben! What? Master! Have you gone mad? Terra! I command you, step aside! No! You will not heed your master? I won't! Why do all my attempts to reach you fail? If you don't have it in your heart to obey, then you will have to share Ventus's fate! You made 
may be my master, but I will not let you hurt my friend! Has the darkness taken you, Terra? somewhere I'm through with you well I'm just getting started with you you're strong enough now to fulfill your purpose so what are you waiting for join with me right here and now become the keyblade no I won't do it he told me the only way the Keyblade can be forged is if you and me fight. Well, guess what? I'm not fighting. You used to be too broken to talk back. Storm within you run its course, it will wipe you from the face of the world. Make no mistake. Uh, Do it. Embrace the darkness. Produce for your master the key blade. Feckless neophyte. If I must, I will extract the darkness from within you myself. creature from Bench's women. To you, the name Vanitas shall be given. Yes, Master. Fine. Then I'll give you a reason to fight. What? Come and find me, at the one and only place to spawn the Keyblade, the Keyblade Graveyard. There, you're gonna see me choke the life out of Terra and Aqua. Then we'll see how long you play the pacifist. Wait!
Okay, so full disclosure here, uh, I muted my mic part of the way through that series of cutscenes, and I forgot to unmute it, so my commentary from this part originally uh, no longer exists. So I'm going to do my best to try to recreate it here. So I'll start off by giving my thoughts on some of the cutscenes that we just watched. Somebody should really tell Xanort that Curiosity killed the cat. I don't think he'll care, but eh, it's worth a shot. Um, Ericus has a good reason to feel the way that he does since he failed to stop Xanort before, but I think his biggest mistake is just not trusting in the students. He didn't trust you know, Ventus, he didn't trust Terra. I guess Aqua maybe not quite as bad as the other two, but um, you don't get to see the rest of the fight play out because you know Terra forces Ven to Destiny Islands first. Um, just to go back to the gameplay for a moment, since you know this is sort of disconnected from what I'm doing in the game. Uh, I was trying to go and find the treasure chests here. Turns out there aren't any treasure chests here in Ven's story specifically. And, you know, this is the, the process of me figuring it out. <laughs> the map actually indicates that to you. Because it shows that the treasures are 100% complete. So, I could have figured this out a lot sooner than I did. But, at least I know now. So, you don't have to worry about me talking about <laughs> finding the treasures here when, when I don't need to. <laughs> but, getting back to my thoughts. Um, then... Doesn't want to fight Vanius, you know, bless his heart. Um, but Xehanort's kind of forcing his hand uh, by endangering Terra and Aqua. And we finally get to see how Vanius was actually created. So that's that's cool. And, you know, how... Actually, I don't think that cutscene showed how Ventus ended up in Ericus's care. But in any case, last thing I want to point out. Um, Feckless Neophyte is such amazing word choice like who says that you know only only xehanort would, would choose those words for that anyways yeah there you go there's you know the number of treasures and there's no entry for the land of departure that's the world that we're in my my brain just completely blanked on that for a moment so yeah i think that's just about gonna catch us up to where I was in the gameplay at this point. I, I think I might have commented on the lack of music here. Of course, you have no way of knowing that. Um, I, all I have to go off of is my spotty memory. So um, let's go ahead and read the Xenoids Report 9. Uh, we Keyblade Masters have a special gift. We can extract a heart, be it our own or that of another, by continuing... This cycle is possible to remain in the world of the living forever. As a boy, I dreamed of seeing the farthest reaches of the world. If I only went far enough, uh, there had to be a world out there in which no one had ever before set foot. And now I know of such a world. If I became the first to open Kingdom Hearts' door, I can create a next world in which light and darkness exist in perfect equilibrium. Pause for dramatic effect. So there I stood, with vast knowledge in one gnarled, dying hand and newfound purpose in the other. The next step was clear. I needed a new vessel. And that was when I met Ventus and made him my pupil. We were destined to meet, and I could sense the potential within him, but the boy was too benign for his own good. I came to the conclusion he was too frail to serve as a vessel, and decided to use him for a second purpose I had in mind. I would remove the darkness from his heart and split him in two. Then I would have my heart of pure light and my heart of pure darkness. I consider myself fortunate that I could read that at a relatively consistent pace. But yeah, that, that'll do it um, for this episode. So the next one we'll be going to uh, the Keyblade Graveyard to try to stop Vanitas and Xehanort and hopefully protect our friends. Of course, you've, you know, if you've been watching the Let's Play, then you know how this goes. <laughs> but in any case, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. I have been Red X Parasite, signing out. <laughs>